Now to Wilbraham, where a popular spooky display made a return for the Halloween season. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey has that story. If it bumps and crawls in the night, it's probably on Glen Ladd's property in Wilbraham. He tells Western Mass News there's sights and frights at every corner of this house, and you never know what's going to pop out at you. It's a non-stop event. Uh, we have smoke machines that cover most of the street, and as you're about to hear, they all go off every time a car drive by. For years, he and his family have decorated their home to commemorate the Halloween holiday. Started 20 years ago plus. Uh, making gravestones with the kids. The homemade haunted house has since become a spooky staple in Wilbraham, drawing people in from near and far, day and night. My kids and mother-in-law liked it. We saw it last night and came back to see it. It's perfect and everything looks beautiful. And each year, Ladd adds a new frightening addition to his lineup of alarming animatronics. Every time we see something new or creative, we make it like the Sanderson sisters we made last week. This popularity came with people interested in volunteering to help with the display. Instead, Ladd says they started taking food donations, which are then distributed to food shelters, open pantries and churches after the holiday. I own an accounting firm, so I um, got a, a client gave me a thousand bucks the other day um, last night. Uh, people came by and it was a hundred dollar bill given to us. Um, We've gotten 12, 14 boxes of food so far donated. We've collected probably more this year than we ever have in all the years combined. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Olivia Hickey. And Lad tells us that he made 500 treat bags for the kids stopping by his haunted house. And tonight